vision to reality crafted creatively. This is what we do at the Option One Design Studio. It's all about the combination between hardware, software and content. And these play an important role in crafting that magic when put together in the most perfect combination. What you're seeing behind me is the glass LED. We've been talking about this for quite a few years now. Here's an evolution in the series with our partners that make the glass. So we are using something here, which is pushing the boundaries in terms of resolution. This is the first of its kind when it comes to the P4 resolution. And we're talking about a pixel with a 1296. With these pixels, you've got to obviously make the magic happen with the right software and content. But then there's so much more in terms of the hardware to make this interactive, which means you're in a position to use our hardware to make any glass, any surface at any proximity interactive using the lasers on the top and bottom. So let me show you. Okay. And now over to Sid. So we use a combination of high quality LiDARs at the top and the bottom to give this glass both proximity sensing as well as touch capability. So we have four applications that demonstrate the capabilities of the glass and the LiDAR. And our focus was on utilizing the transparency of the glass. We want to make sure that we use the transparency of the glass to make these interactive options as cool as possible and as uh, close to retail as possible. So the first one is this touch interactivity. So you can see how precise our LiDARs are. It gives you very good tracking, very, very accurate across the whole six meters of screen. You could even go up to 12 meters with these sensors. They're so precise. The next activation we had was proximity sensing. The whole idea behind that was to have the glass obscured until somebody comes close, creating a sense of delight to be able to see what's behind the glass at the end moment. The next activation we had was around a shoe retail concept. And the whole idea behind this was that people would uh, be able to interact with the glass without knowing they were interacting. So somebody who's walking past the glass would inadvertently trigger the shoe activation and, and the shoe would pop up and you'd be able to see the details as well on the shoe because this glass is P4. So we want to make sure we had some detailed content in there as well to see how good the clarity of the screen is. And the fourth activation we had was a concept where somebody who's walking past the uh, glass would then be having a, a particle effect triggered towards them with this perfume activation signaling the scent coming from the perfume towards them. We decided on doing all these interactive elements, but none of it would work unless the content looked really good and complemented the screen. So I'm going to hand it over to Charles. Thanks, Sid. Well, the greatest challenge with uh, most of the real-time content what we face is having a most optimized model. And here we have managed to do some next level 3D optimization in terms of uh, making possible with the lowest poly count, yet maintaining the highest details possible. And it's not always about creating the highest resolution in pixels and developing, uh, you know, ultra 4K or 8K content. It's about understanding the medium and developing contents which can complement the technology. So here, the greatest beauty is in the transparency. So we have managed to understand the technology at its best and develop the most optimized content, maintaining the transparency and alpha layers, marrying the synergy between the software, content and technology together. So all this is just a glimpse of what we can do. So bring us your most challenging ideas and we will make it happen.